In this next section, we need to edit a document. The appropriate software package to use is Microsoft Word. To load the file, we go to File, Open, and we need to find the file which we saved in our Downloads folder. So the file is j10kites.rtf, rich text format. So open the file. And here's the file. Now, first we need to set the page size to A4, so click on Layout, Size, A4. The page orientation needs to be Portrait. And then we set the margins to 2 centimeters each top, bottom, left and right. Now save the document with a new file name, so file save as and I'll save this, I'll find somewhere sensible to save it. Now I want to set all the text to a sans serif font, that means a font without the little lines at the end of each letter. So I press Command A to select everything, click Home, and from the font menu select something that is obviously a sans serif font, um, Arial Calibri is a good one. All the text should be single line spacing, so I can go to the Format menu, Paragraph, Spacing, Line Spacing, change from double to single. All the text should be fully justified, so I click on this button, where both we can see both the left hand side and the right hand side will be even. The font size of all text should be 10 point. Now I need to edit the header, so I can double click at the top. On the left hand side I need my candidate number, and centre number, and on the right hand side, so press tab once, twice, I'll move the tab over because it's not, a, not aligned anymore. Uh, automated file name and path. So I do insert field. I want to insert some, some information about the document. So it's document information, file name. But I also want the path included in, in the file name. That is telling me which folder, which folders the file is in. So I click on Options, Field Specific Switches. I can see there's one option here that adds this file system's path to the file name. So I click Add to Field. OK. OK. And I can see here, here is the file name including the path. And because the file name is a little bit too long, it, it disappears off the end of the page. So let's per se Let's put a carriage return in here somewhere. So after this folder, I'll press Shift Return. And now we can see the entire path and file name is right aligned in the header. In the footer, scroll down to the end of the page. Left aligned, we want today's date. So insert field date and time. Today's date, click on date. OK. And right aligned, press tab, tab again. Move the tab to the correct position. Insert field numbering page. OK. And there's a the number of the current page.
Now, all alignments match the page orientation and margins. That's fine. Headers and footers are on each page. Yes, they are. Step 15. There needs to be a black line 10 points high after each paragraph. So go back to the main body, select everything again, Command A, Format, Paragraph, Spacing after each paragraph. There should be a 10 point high blank line. Change this setting to 10 point. Click OK. That looks fine. And the line spacing, well, this is consistent because we did it for the entire document. Now we want to insert a blank line at the start of the document. Here's the start. Press Enter. And enter a heading, Power Kite Sports. The heading should be center aligned, 26 points. So select the line, change the font size. And below that, we want a subheading. Our name now both the heading and the subheading so select them both should be a serif font that is a font with the little lines on the end let's choose a nice one let's have bookman old style subheading be 14 points. Now the heading needs to be underlined. The subheading should be italic and the sub subheading should be right aligned. And after the subheading we want to format the rest of the document into two equally spaced columns. In order to do that, we need to add a section break at the end of the subheading. So leaving the cursor at the end of the subheading, insert break, section break, and make it a continuous section break, but it doesn't ask us to keep the rest of the document on a new page. So section break continuous as the section break. Now click on the main part of the document. Now we can format this into two columns. So click Layout, Columns 2, and we've got a blank line here that we don't actually need. Let's delete that. OK. And a one centimetre gap between the columns. Click on Columns, Columns, the gap of the spacing, change to one centimetre. Now we need to find some text, a brief history of kites, and delete it. Yeah, a brief history of kites and the paragraph that follows it all the way down to. So I'm holding down shift and pressing the down arrow all the way to they have been born with. Press the left arrow once just to select that paragraph and not the carriage return to the following paragraph. And delete that, just press the delete key. And delete another, another blank line. Oops. Now I need to change the list of basic safety rules to a bulleted list. So where is that? Here it is, some basic safety rules that you should always follow. So to select this, place the place Cursor on the first line, hold down shift, press the arrow key down, down arrow, down arrow. There's the end of the list. I think that's the last item in the list. And press home, bulleted list. There we go. And the bulleted text should not have any blank space between the items. So right click, paragraph, and let's remove this spacing after 
the end of each line. Now, after, after the text, here are some courses you might want to take. Here, we need to insert a table. So press Enter. Tables. Make a new table. That should be three columns wide and six rows down. we need to enter some data. Now the table needs to fit the width of the column, that's fine it does, and using text wrapped where needed, well that's fine, some of, some of the cells have too much text in, so the text is wrapped. And the text is aligned to the top of the cell if it is wrapped, that's fine. So for example the beginner only takes up one line and, it, and it's at the top of the cell. Now the top two rows of the table should be centered and underlined. So select the two top rows, press home, center, underline. And they should have a light gray shading. So right click, table properties. Right click, orders and shading, shading, and uh, 20, 20 to 40 percent grey means something like this colour, 20 percent. Now we merge the cells in the top row of the table so that the text is centred across the three columns. So these three cells need merging. Click on lay table layout, merge cells. That's taken the top cell to the previous column. We can sort that out later. Now, to set the borders of the table, a good thing to use is the border drawing tool, which is in the tables toolbar. Now, we can click on draw. Make sure that the thickness of the line is selected at three points and just draw in the borders we need to so the outside borders of the table. One, two, three, and up to the top. Fine. So we stop drawing, click on the draw button again. And that's the table finished. Now we want to place an image at the top right hand, at the top of the top right hand column on page one. So this is page one, this is the right hand column. We need to insert an image. So insert photo picture from file. Now the file will be saved in our downloads folder the picture is j10 board dot git insert there it is it should be aligned with the top of the text in the right margin on that picture Layout. I want I want a tight layout with the text wrapped around it, and horizontal alignment should be right. And then just move it back up the page to the correct position. I can use the arrow keys to do that. And the image should be five centimeters high with the correct 
the same aspect ratio, so right click format picture, size, height, should be 5 centimeters, and you notice the width changed with that because the aspect ratio is locked, so that's fine, click OK. Let's just move it to the right hand side again. There we go. Now the text does wrap around it as shown in the instructions, so that's fine. Save the document, click save, and we don't need to do anything with it yet. We'll come back to it later in this paper. I'll see you then.